Yeah, welcome guys. Hi, J Kid. I want to show you how to make simultaneous equation with C sharp. Yeah, so I put my video studio. As you can see, guys, right now it's already open. So then, to see this now, I do what? I input here the line of code. Here are the line of code already. Welcome to the simultaneous equation solver. This is a dry catch block which catches an error in case the user inputs a wrong value and catches it and displays it here. The input is in the wrong or no simultaneous equation. Okay. Then this is it. I followed I first of all to get this from uh, simultaneous equation works in this pattern. This is it here. This is the pattern it works in. You have the A squared plus B Y plus C equation one and DX plus E Y equals A equation two. Then from equation one you can get making X of the formula. We are the basic arithmetic. <coughs> we get that what? The x equals c minus b y and so on and so forth. Then if you substitute the value of your equation a, of x into equation two, you get the value of your what? Of our y. So then this block now signifies okay. Let's go back to the code. Now you get the value, <coughs> the coefficient of x and the coefficient of y and the constant from the user, which is x one. That's your a x y one. That's your b and c one, which is your c. Then consider right which means consider the right line will take you will display the value your your value then the cursor goes down to the next line right consider right display the, the text input over here the cursor still stays on that same line the consider red line takes in the value and the input why int dot pass in dot pass does what converts the string because what the user input is the string what into us an integer it's a two bit integer as you can see here so then inputting the values here as you can see they are, they are both flutes because the value of x can be it, it, it can you can just be an integer only it can, it can either be 2.1 2.3 2.44 anything anything so they are both flutes as you can see from the equation using this formula y equals af minus cd over e minus bd Putting it here, you see this. <coughs> then this f is block. In case if your a is zero, according to this here, if a here is zero, if a here is zero, we have just what b y equals c, and having one one equation, an equation containing the coefficient of x. So how do you find that? So if a here is zero, so putting the value here, you get that you what that you what that f equals to e minus I imagine making that making this sort of formula in equation two. So, okay, that's how we do that. Then on getting that now, you get the value of our x. Okay, then if else that's else whatever the other the user input the x is what the normal value that's c minus b y like c minus b y by e. Okay, that's how I do it then. The result value then shows the value of your x is this. This is a placeholder. It takes it's zero. That's origin. It started from zero. The placeholder contains values, which is this x here. Then slash n. This n for slash n means the what? Takes you to the next value. So that's new power but takes you to the next line. New line. So then the value of your y is this one. Which is one here, the placeholder. So it catches any time if there's an error there, it puts it and gives you that wrong. Your, your input is wrong, but not some kind of question. Then it says try again here. Okay, try again. Okay. So if you want to use that to try again, it's a string here, a string right up here. Choice. A string right up here, which is choice. That picks, it picks what the user takes. And convert it to what to do what so I to run you what is here. This is a do I look all this from here is a do I look these are contents of do I look this is it the 
do and this is why you look this is the way I look here ok let me close so I can see this here it's better like this so this is it this is the two I look this is I do look this is the do here and this is the way I look so the choice is yes if the choice is yes to start all over again and do this if not exit ok let's try this and see which one ok which equation should we try ok Let's try an equation x plus y equals to 2. Your x here is what 1, your y here is what 1, and your c is what 2. Then equation 2 which says 2x plus 2 plus 3y equals to 6. Okay. Try and the value of your x is 0. The value of y is 5. I'm going to try again. Type yes. Yes, if you ask you to input more values, then you input error to give you input is wrong or not something else equation. Why it said input is not wrong or not something else equation? Maybe in case the user may see, user may see x is 0, y is 0. So that's not something else equation. So you just tell that and, and see, you just see is 5. And x is 0, y is 0. And C to six. But then in your MPT is wrong, but in a certain situation, because that's an error. There's no something question like that. Some this question means solving two unknowns with two different set of equation. Okay, thank you for watching. If you type you no know, any other stuff it will exit. And, and that's it. Thank you for watching. Okay, I'm Jacob. Thanks for watching. Watch more other videos, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you.